Hi guys, Todd here. Alright, uh, today we have... It's a bit of a bruiser. This. This is the Skynet. This is the Skynet Mini in uh, stainless steel. It also comes in black. Uh, and essentially what it is, it turns your Provari and uh, you get an it works with a Privari Mini, but you also get an extension kit, which is this bit, which allows you to use it with a full sized Privari. Um, but we'll come back to that. Now let's get this out of the way. This is a squonker. <laughs> I love that word. It's for squonking. Uh, basically uh, if you don't know what a squonker is, you can have, say, a, a 510 atomizer or a 306, and you know, basically, it's just a, a coil, a heating element inside them. And normally, what you do is you drip on them, you know, it's dripping. Uh, you put probably three or four, just say four drops on them, and the flavor you get from them, it's what I've always maintained is the purest flavour you can get out of your e-liquid. It's just exquisite. Um, but it's a pain in the backside because you're constantly dripping. However, if you squonk, um, what it essentially means is you get a, a bottle. Now this is a 10ml bottle of juice. This holds 10ml here. And your atomizer goes in the top. And you know, all you do is just vape away and when you detect that the flavour's changing you just squeeze that and it just pushes juice up into the atty and you carry on vaping. You get that same flavour production though, you get the, the, the oh, it's It seems to be, it's a very, I don't really want to say this, it is popular in certain circles, squonking, uh, but not everybody goes in for it. If you've never tried it, uh, I'd say give it a bash. Uh, buy yourself a little, you know, 306 or 510 Atty, stick it on one of your devices, I mean, and, and try it and if you like the flavour that you're getting then you will love squonking. So that's what squonking is and this is a squonker. Now, the thing I have to point out is the Privari does not come with this. Uh, I'll just unscrew this here just now. This is, I'll unscrew this as well. Um, this is basically what you're getting for your money uh, and I'll go into pricing and whatnot and show you all this up in close detail but this is the the main device this is the mini um, and it does come with a nice little carry case you know it just drops in there you tighten that and you've got a lanyard so you uh, and it also comes boxed and raring to go. Right, I think what we'll do is we'll go in for close-ups. I'm going to strip this right down and show you it broken down and I'll put it back together and then uh, we'll talk about pricing and things like that and then uh, we'll take it from there. Right, well, excuse my bit of kitchen towel here but uh, I thought this would be a better idea. I can get everything laid out. Right, this is it broken down into its component parts. You do get this little tool here which will allow you to take the whole thing to bits. Um, we'll start with the top here and excuse my fingerprints on it but uh, you see there I mean there's your 510 connection that's where you're going to screw in your device and uh, this is where your Privari will actually screw into here and this is where your juice bottle feeds the juice so the juice gets pumped through here and out there. Now this bit actually I've taken the screws out but this bit slides off like so. 
I'll let that light up there. And you can see how this is made up. And that's one really seriously thick bit of wire that's running. You know, that's going to carry the current over to the atomizer. So, that's how it starts off in there. Uh, to put this together, uh, first thing you want to do is we have our two pipes, if you want to call them pipes, and they sit in here and here. And there are two washers, there's two small washers in there as well, so I'm just going to pop these in here like so. And hopefully I can stay in focus while I'm doing this. Just tighten it up. I'm only doing it finger tight. I'm not you know, taking a big massive turn on it. I don't want to strip threads or anything like that. So that's them in. Once we've done that, we just twist this back round like so. And then we have two more little bolts there, which I will chase around the <laughs> chase everywhere. Uh, let's try this doing this a, a different way. Pop them on here first, and pop them in there. So that's them tightened down once again, just really finger tight. We then have the tube which is going to carry your, your juice bottle is going to sit in here and that just slots up in there and I'm going to make sure that the, it's facing out the way I'll just push that in like so and then it's just a case of uh, putting the base on like that and then just drop these two in here. Sorry. So we just drop these two in there like so. And then we tighten these up. Now, thing to point out here, when you're tightening these guys up, do not do them up really tight. If you do, what happens is that this starts to, because of, of where the screws are, you see this is on a, a kind of swivel there almost, this piece here. Uh, you actually pull this section out of alignment uh, and makes it a bit of a, a sod to get the Privari in properly. So I've actually been leaving it with just a tiny, tiny little bit of play. I'm only doing these bolts up until I can feel some resistance. Just make sure that's an even gap all the way around. And, and that's it. That's the whole thing together. Now, if you remember set up here, there's your needle. That's where your bottle's going to go. So I have a, a bottle of e-liquid here. This is full of my uh, trip hammer, uh, Victoria sponge. Now be careful with the, the threads on these bottles, They're, just screw it down until it's finger tight again, in fact that's the key for everything in this, wait until it's finger tight. Now that tube goes all the way down to the bottom of the bottle there and, and that's how far I've been leaving the tube out and then I just look down, see the needle pop this in, make sure it's lined up with the needle Oops. and in she goes, that's it now, if you look up here, if I push this bottle so what we're going to do here is I'm going to take this, just a 510 Atty and you can see in there that it's this is a, a bridged one there's a bit of ceramic bridged over the coil there so if I pop this in here and just screw it down now hopefully you should see if I push the bottle I 
and let go it actually it pumps the juice up but when you let go of the bottle stop squeezing it it sucks all the excess out so what you can also buy uh, which comes as an accessory is the you know you can buy the a polished or a black version of the ACS the air control system now this is the air control system here and basically it just slides in here push it down and you can forget a drip tip here let's find the drip tip I had a drip tip here where did it go <laughs> Come on, and I'll take one of my drip tips. This is a Cyan Mod switch tip. Pop that on there. So I can actually spin this, and there's four little holes dotted around there, and I can adjust the airflow. You can close it off altogether. Sometimes you have to hold on to the bottom with your finger to stop the whole thing spinning. Just push down tight there. That's it. Hopefully you can see the holes that are dotted around there. So you can open and close airflow control. So that's an accessory. That does not come with, with the standard kit, but it comes in black and it comes in polished. And uh, this is, what did I say it was? I've forgotten now. Ah, £11.13 for this. Right, so there we go, we're getting there. Uh, to put your Privari in, I mean I'm just using the Privari Mini here just now. Uh, this is a 2.5. Basically you just stick it in the bottom. Push the button down. And it slides in. Push it right up and then just start spinning. Make sure this is a bit slack, there's a bit of movement in there. If you don't, it can be a bit of a sod to line up. You just pop your Privari Mini in there. And the button should stop right here. Now, you can still, and hopefully we can show this, you know, I'm firing away there. You can just spin your, I can actually still see the display on my Privari here. But you can spin it back a bit. You know, to make any adjustments. And I can still see the resistance of the... That's a 1.5 ohm head that's on there. So, at first I thought this was going to be an issue not being able to see the screen. But it's not. It's just a tiny little spin back. And then nip it up again. And that's you fully built. Now, other device, uh, other th options that you have, you, I mean, the standard polished is one hundred and eighteen pound thirty-seven. You also get this. This is the the Skynet extension, and that is twenty-two forty-nine. Um, basically, this just it's, it's actually magnetic. Uh, There we go, there's the, the base. Excuse me, I've got my fingers are covered in <laughs> always covered in e liquid, so everything gets covered. Uh, but you know, you see, the base is magnetic, and you can see there that uh, here, you know, I'm actually waiting on my Atmostique Hippo uh, extension, no, the twins it's called, that extends it out. Uh, but you know, you can put an 18650 or an 18500. Provari in here as well and that just pulls off just like that quite a smart bit of kit I like the way they've done it it's quite simple but it's quite clever at the same time so there we go so that is the Skynet now, uh, what I should say is, what you can also do is if I unscrew, I'll pull the extension off and unscrew this uh, atty here. You know, I've got some Cyan Mods uh, dripping atty shields here. 
that the big fella was good enough to send on. Uh, so, you know, I can take one of these, I can pop it into my drip shield, and, uh, you know, I can vape away with this. Uh, pop that in there like so. Here I can use my own drip tip in there as well. Uh, what I will check, because I'm not 100% sure what else will fit in here, but I'll give you the dimensions anyway. Um, now, the inside diameter is 15.1 millimetres. Uh, let's see if you will see it. So just say 15 mil. So I'm not sure what the cyclone and things like that are, but uh, you know you've got 15 mil to play with in there just, and uh, and that's it. Uh, this if you make sure that the bottom bolts are kept loose. I, I can't stress this enough. Uh, you shouldn't nip them up tight at all. Just there should be a bit of play in it like that. If you do leave it like that, then you can, if you want, you can spin your shield round so that you have that look. Makes it up. You can still squeeze the bottle, but just. Um, you know, it's entirely up to you what kind of look you want to go for. I, I've just been leaving it fully open. Um, but each to their own at the end of the day. Right, that's everything for the close-ups. Um, uh, just quickly, it's a hundred and five millimeters in height in mini mode, and it is fifty seven millimeters in width, and that's it. I think we'll go for a vape. Uh, right, how are we going to do this? Let's do it like this. To sum this up, if you have a Privari and you want to go down the squonking route, now I was going to buy, I did get this free for you, but I was going to buy it. Uh, I was, you know, I actually contacted the Pink Mule uh, and asked about it. And uh, you know, was prepared to buy it, but the the out of the kindness of their heart and pity, taking pity on me, they sent it on free for review, which I'm over the moon about. Um, I didn't have a problem buying, going to buy it, because for me, because I have a Privari, um, to actually go and buy a squonking device, uh, you know, a good quality squonking device uh, that would take an eighteen six fifty. 503. For the bog standard setup without all the add ons, you know, the airflow control and uh, the extension was £117 or 107 can't remember now. Um, that was in line with what I would probably have paid anyway. So, for me personally, in, in my budget, financial situation and all the rest of it and what I want out of a vape it worked for me some other people are probably watching this and going you know, by the time you add up the cost of this, the cost of that, the cost of all the bits is costing you a fortune uh, I still have my Privari Mini that I can use with any device and I also have a nice squonking setup um, so for me personally I, I see it as quite a good, I see it as a good buy. Uh, some may disagree, but each to their own. Um, it's incredibly well built, and I really, I, I'm struggling to find fault in it. Um, it's going to be a niche market. Not everybody's going to go for this kind of thing. Uh, but for the squonkers out there that do own a Privari, then uh, I, I don't think you would be disappointed with this. I really do not think you would be. 
the only thing that the real thing that I'm not enamoured with is the actual airflow control. Um, I find that it's even when it's fully open uh, I'm still not getting what I would call an open draw. It's very tight. I mean it is a tight draw uh, with the airflow control and, and that's a bit of a shame. Um, hang on a sec. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, even what I might do actually is just take my drill bit or something like that and open a couple of these little holes up a bit uh, and see if I can improve the airflow. But as standard, whilst it looks good on the device with a you know a five one zero, um, it just I find the draw just a bit too tight. That's that's my only negative. Everything else, the extension pack, the build quality for me it works for me it works well um, I hope that you got something out of this and if you're at all interested in it this video was helpful um, if you are interested go along to pinkmule.com uh, they've got them in stock there just now I would like to thank uh, the big fella at Pink Mule for sending this on to me, free for review, and uh, I, I am over the moon, over the moon with this. It's just a really nice squonking setup, really nice. And yes, I have a white Provari. Get over it. Uh, I do have a stainless steel sleeve as well, uh, and just a plain one. But uh, anyway, guys, as always, thank you very much for watching and uh, we will catch up with you soon. All the best now. Cheers.